In this video I'm going to be sharing some tips on maintaining your dirt bike forks which will hopefully minimize any issues you have while you're riding. The first tip is to keep your forks clean. Uh, particularly after mud right, uh, you can get uh, mud packed up around this area. Uh, so you want to wash it off after the right and uh, make sure everything is clean. Um, if the tube is covered in dirt, uh, it's best just to rinse it off. Uh, if you're using a power washer, you should be careful that you don't point the power washer at the seal or it can force water and mud um, up underneath the seal. Uh, if you've got uh, a lot of dirt on the tube itself, just rinse it off with water and then maybe use a, a sponge with some soapy water. Uh, but you want to avoid um, making any scratches vertically uh, because they can uh, make the seals prone to leaking oil. Uh, if you do need to wipe it, it's much better to wipe sideways in this, this motion. Once you've cleaned off the fork, uh, you should inspect the uh, tube. Uh, Tick the air at the back, which isn't protected by the fork guard. Um, if you drop it onto rocks or something hard like that, uh, it can get scratches or dents. Um, if it's a very light scratch, you can possibly uh, repair it using some very fine sandpaper, maybe a thousand or two thousand grit sandpaper. Uh, if it's a deeper scratch or certainly a dent, uh, you'll probably have to re replace the tube. Here you can see a fork tube off one of my friend's KTMs and uh, you can see here there's a dent which was caused by looping the bike out and unfortunately it landed on a rock right at this point. Um, it was leaking oil and also the seals were binding on the forks uh, so it wasn't performing well at all um, so we had to swap the uh, tube out. When you ride in mud you can find that mud can uh, pack up inside the dust seal um, and then make its way into the oil seal and uh, eventually cause an oil leak. So after a mud ride it's a good idea to pull the dust seal down and inspect inside make sure it's clean inside. And to remove the dust seal you can either use a flat bladed screwdriver or I have a special dust seal removal tool uh, which has a uh, thin blade which makes it a little bit easier. Um, but whatever method you use make sure you don't slip and scratch the uh, fork tube. So using this tool uh, you just simply insert it between the upper fork tube and uh, the seal and then twist. And uh, it's a good idea to work around and do it in several places, then it should just pop straight off. And you can see that I don't have any debris down inside the dust seal, um, so I can just replace this and check the other side. Uh, if you did, uh, you'd want to clean it out, so you could use some parts cleaner and uh, compressed air, blow out any dirt in there and then replace it. So while you have the dust seal off, it's a good idea to inspect for any oil leakage. Um, if it's a very minor oil leak, uh, the oil might just collect up inside the dust seal. If it's a bad leak, then uh, you'll find it running down the fork. Um, if you do find a leak, um, one thing you can do is use a, a tool like this. This is a seal mate uh, made by Motion Pro, and it's a thin piece of plastic with a hook area. So you slide this up inside the oil seal, and then uh, slide it right, right the way around the uh, fork. And if there's any dirt in there, it'll collect in this area, and then uh, pull it out at the end. Um, that can often fix the issue uh, if the damage isn't too bad. Um, if you've left it like that for a long time, the uh, seal itself will probably get uh, damaged and even cleaning it out won't, won't fix the issue, in which case you'll need to change the oil seals. I do have a, a separate video on how to uh, overhaul uh, the Explore fork and change the oil seals, so uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. The next tip is fork protection. Uh, the lowers are typically protected by an OEM plastic guard like this, so make sure that's in good shape, isn't cracked, and has all the mounting bolts. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, protect the uppers, which can be prone to uh, stone and rock damage. So if you drop the bike onto a rock and it hits here, uh, it can dent it. If it gets dented, then the uh, fork can bind. Um, or just riding normally, uh, stones can be flung up and uh, dent the tubes. Uh, so it's a very good idea using a carbon guard like this or a plastic one or a neoprene. So I fitted these carbon guards to the bike uh, when I got it new, uh, which is a year and a half ago now. And if you look carefully, you can see dings um, all over the guard. 
And these are caused from uh, stones being flung up by the tire. So if I didn't have the guard on, uh, these dings would be on the fork tubes. So I highly recommend fitting a guard like this. The next tip is to bleed the air inside the fork regularly. Uh, this is particularly important if uh, there's an elevation change. For example, if you're uh, living at sea level and you go riding in the mountains, uh, you want to equalize the uh, pressure inside the fork with atmospheric pressure. Uh, the method you typically use to do that is to put the bike on a work stand like I have it now, um, so the suspension is fully extended and then uh, release the uh, bleed screw on the fork cap and allow air to enter or escape. Um, if you want slightly softer suspension, uh, you can uh, do it so the bike's supporting its own weight, so it's not on a stand and it's just standing upright, and uh, bleed the air that way, and you'll find the suspension is slightly softer. And then on the fork cap, you'll find the air bleed screw. Uh, on my Del Soggio Sphere cartridges, the air bleed is the outermost screw, so it's this one. And then using a screwdriver, you just loosen it off. Uh, you can do it partially or take it right out. I'm going to take it right out and equalize the pressure. And then uh, inside it has an O-ring, so make sure that's seated correctly when you reinstall the bolt. And then screw it in again. And that's the bleeding done, so you need to do it on both sides of the fork. And the last tip I have is, if you crash, sometimes the forks can become twisted. So for example, if you hold the handlebars straight, uh, the front wheel might be pointing off one way or the other. Um, there's a method you can use uh, to correct that, which I already made a video on, uh, so I'll put a link in the description. Um, but basically you just uh, loosen off the right side of the axle and also the lower triple clamp bolts. Then take the bike off and pump the front suspension up and down um, and then retighten everything. And doing that self-aligns the uh, forks and the triple clamps and on the axle and uh, corrects the issue. Regarding overhauling the forks, so that means changing the oil, the seals and the bushings. Um, if you trail ride like I do, probably once a year is a good uh, time span. But if you race or you ride a lot of sandy and muddy conditions, then you'll probably need to do it more often. Um, I did previously make a overhaul video uh, for the Explore forks, which are fitted to the uh, 2017 and later off-road models. Um, and I also am currently using Dal Soggio sphere cartridges and I made a video showing how to revalve those and uh, change the oil. So I'll put uh, links to those in the description of this video.